I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on word problems. Let's take up these three questions and understand how to write equations and solve them. I'd like you to pause the video, solve these questions yourself and then check with my solution. The three questions are question number one. Jasleen earns $1.150 more per week than her friend Anna and $100 less than her roommate Lena. Together the three girls earn $2,050 per week. How much does each girl earn per week? Question number two. The sum of two numbers is 36. The second number is three less than twice the first. Find the two numbers. Question number three. Peter works part-time at a clothing store. He earns $90 per week plus 8% of the value of his weekly sales. This week he earns $220. What is the total value of his weekly sales? Okay, so let's begin with the very first one. So the strategy here is simple. We'll just define variables, right? So first step is we have to define variables. So Jasleen earns $150 more per week than her friend Anna. So earning of Jasleen, I'll say J, earning of Anna, I'll say A, and $100 less than her roommate Lena, so that will be L. So these are my variables, earnings of, so earnings per week. R, J, A, and L for the three girls respectively, right? So I'm not writing everything, but you need to write. So we have defined our variables. Now, let's find the relation. So relate them. Jasleen earns 150 more per week than her friend Anna. So J gets more. So J equals 2. A plus 150. Perfect. And 100 less than her roommate Lena. So, so Lena minus 100. So that is how we have related them all. Do you see that part? Last. Together the three earn 20, 50 per week. So, so what we have here is J plus A plus L is 2050. Is that clear? Now the idea is to write all in terms of 1. Right? So we'll choose J as the 1 since we are relating everybody to J. Jasleen's earnings. Perfect? So let's rewrite these equations. So I'll rewrite this equation and this. And then we are going to substitute so let's see how. So here I can get what L is by transferring 100 to the left side. So we get J plus 100 equals to L. And here we get what A is by transferring 150 to this side, which is J minus 150 is A. Is that clear? Now the next step here is to substitute. So now we'll go do substitution. these values perfect so for j we'll just keep it as j for a we'll write j minus 150 and for l we'll write j plus 100 doesn't make sense to you and we have 2050 is that clear so so we substituted a and we also substituted L. What we got was one equation just in one variable. So we started with three variables, more than one. Now we have just one variable, J. So combining, we get 3J. 
in numbers we get minus 50 equals to 2050. So taking this on that side we get 3j equals to 2050 plus 50 which is which is 2100. So j equals to 2100 divided by 3 which is 700. So now we get what j is. j is 700. So we can write down the answer that j is $700. L is how much? So L is 7 plus 100, right? So which is $800. And what is A? A is 700 minus 150, correct? Okay? So which is five hundred and fifty dollars is that clear so that becomes your answer so we can now write down our answer that the earnings are for jasmine it is dollar seven hundred per week for Anna it is equal to dollar five hundred and fifty Per week and for Lena it is dollar eight hundred per week. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So that is how you're going to solve the word problems. Question number two. The sum of two numbers is thirty six. The second number is three less than twice the first. Find the two numbers. So let's define the variables. We say let the numbers be first F and S, right? So first and second. So variables should have a proper name, which helps you to solve the equation, right? So now let's write down the equation. The sum of two numbers is 36. That means first number plus the second number is 36. The second number is 3 less than twice the first. Second number is 3 less than twice the first. So we'll write 2 first minus 3. So 3 less than 3 comes here, right? Like this. So we have two different equations from two statements. Now we can substitute 2 in 1, right? So we'll do sub 2 in 1. Perfect. That is the value of S goes there. So what we get here is F plus 2F minus 3 equals to 36. You get an idea. So what we did was we substituted this value for S and got this equation by the combination of the first two. Is that clear? So if you get that, simple. F plus 2F is 3F. And we can take 3 to the right side, we get 36 plus 3. So we get 3f equals to 39. f is 39 divided by 3, which is 13. Correct? Once you get that, you have the second number also. So we know the first number is 13. And second number is 2 times first minus 3. So it is 2 times 13 minus 3 which is 26 minus 3 which is 23 so the answer is the numbers are thirteen and twenty three is that clear so that is how this should be solved perfect now let's take the next question Question number three. Peter works part-time at a clothing store. He earns $90 per week plus 8% of the value of his weekly sales. This week he earns $220. What is the total value of his weekly sales? You can always pause the video, write equations, solve, and then check with my solution, right? So, first step, let's define the variable. Now, what is the variables here? So we'll say E is earnings 
and S is sales per week. Okay. So Peter works part time in a clothing store. He earns $90 per week plus 8%. So earnings is 90 plus 8 percent means 8 out of 100 value of his weekly sales which is s you understand so 8 percent of weekly sales sales is s so 8 percent is 8 divided by 100 is that clear or directly you could have written e equals to 90 plus 0 0.08 s now what are we given this week he earns $220. We are given E equals to $220. What is the value of his weekly sales? We have to find S. So we need to find what S is. So I hope the question is absolutely clear. So if you think like this, it is very easy to solve word problems. Right? So go through this explanation. Now, we will substitute 220 for E, so we get 220 equals to 90 plus 0 0.08 S. Let's solve. 220 minus 90 equals to 0 0.08 S. So if you take away, if you take away 100, it is 120, but 10 less. So it is 130, okay, equals to 0 0.08 S. Now we have to divide this by 0 0.08 to get the sales. Let's use calculator, right? You could approximate, do it. If calculator is not allowed, do it without calculator. Now, so what we get here is we get 220 minus 90. I'll do everything. So we get 130 and we are going to divide this by 0 0.08 and we get 1625. So we can now write down answer in words that total value of this weekly sales, so weekly sales is dollar sixteen twenty-five. Does make sense to you? So that is how you should be solving the word problems. So I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. I'd like you to go through this video once again. And once you are clear about it, take up the next video, set of three, to practice how to solve word problems which involve linear equations. I hope you enjoyed this journey and learned. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks.